We are the Normies, and we are back to watch Lucifer, Season 1, Episode 9. Yeah. Real quick, this is Dameron, I'm Renna, Mickey, Spidey, and at home is Pat. We are using our phones to communicate with each other via Discord, because one of us is at home, which is, you know, good thing, because social distancing. But anyway, we're back to watch this amazing freaking show. Things are getting really spicy. We saw Lucifer, goddammit, burn, burn his wings. I know I wasn't here last time. Yeah. Didn't burn, burn his wings. We learned some truth to the Palomino case. Pal Mino case. Yeah. The dude, uh, the dude woke up. Yeah. We have, I mean, we have I would uh, start talking. Got less dressed for uh, Dan. Yeah, I mean, God damn it. Dan. I said in the beginning he was a douche. He was I was, good. you know, he was a douche, and then he was good, and then here we go again. <laughs> I think it's starting to pick up now. So. Yeah. It's, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah like I said, something spicy. Yeah, it's, it's a nice soft start. Definitely. Yeah. It's and, a uh, thickening. <laughs> and Mickey and I are wondering what happened to. Uh, it's not the actual actor from The Wire, but it's the guy in a movie who does an impression of the guy from The Wire. What the Remember, hell? He's, he's the collector of Clint. all the ancient um, yeah, Clint artifacts. Yeah, 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 okay. That's okay. hilarious. And what, did he actually keep the wings, though? Remember? Cause, right, right, right. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 so I guess we'll find out. We will find out. I hope he didn't burn them and he was just like being the sassy Lucifer that he is. Yeah. yeah. So we shall see. But anyway, guys, remember this is not a market substitute. Please support the original content on its own. We're watching it on Netflix. Then come watch it with it here with us on YouTube. And then when you watch it here on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe because that really helps us out. If you want to jump ahead on some episodes, we are many ahead on Patreon. So make sure to check that link out below in the description. And while you're in below in the description, check out links to our social media and everything else because we'd really appreciate it. And there's a Discord. We love you guys. Let's do this. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous. Dangerous shit, bro. <laughs> That's a that's like the conversation right, how about, of uh, forty nine thirty. When like the older you get, you don't make new mistakes; you just repeat <laughs> old mistakes. No, the, the, the <laughs> and the, both canceled. of those 45. I think qualify. That looks so wise too. <laughs> I could do forty five. I, I I could oh, even do forty if you want to do forty. Cool. That's gonna be his headshot on IMDb. Yeah. Like. I'm sending it to our editor, and I'm not gonna say anything until you see this edit, and you'll know why I sent you this. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Lucifer Morningstar, Father Frank Lawrence. Yeah, you know who we thought you were. <laughs> Priest walks into a bar. I've heard this one before. I've never <laughs> seen it though. At least not here. I'm here about a neighborhood youth center. Sounds dreadful. It okay. is. When you realize it's being used as a front for an illegal drug operation, the center's director, Lenny Arrieta, is recruiting kids from my church to move his product. Ah, so this is about young boys, of course it is. One in particular. <laughs> my answer to you. Father is a big fat no. Handle it yourself. Oh, there's one client that he yeah, won't take, I guess. Yeah, but like, I mean, he's not the father even has demons. Look, am I mistaken or do you catch bad guys? Now, this priest is up to something, something nefarious. I can feel it. Last I checked, your feelings don't count as probable cause. Well, isn't the fact that he came to me probable cause enough? Or I could just interrogate this youth director by myself. No, just let me do the talking. How much do you want to bet that this is the actual studio that they where they shoot the show and they just put all this stuff up on the wall? Oh yeah, that yeah, wow, really dope. Yeah, that sure looks like a prop room to me. Ooh, get it, girl. Oh. His blood. Oh, shit, he's fucked up. Damn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's fucked up. Wow. Well, told you the priest was up to something. Oh. I'm gonna see what the fuck is on me. I think I already figured it out. <laughs> I think I figured it out. I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody. Enough about the dead guy. Tell me everything you know about Padre Pederast. <gasps> Who? Father Frank. When was the last time you saw him? Uh, here, here, this morning. Yeah. But you seem pretty pissed. Oh, you don't, wait, you don't really think that, like, Father Frank did this, right? 100%. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Right. See? Told you. Now, I hate to admit it, but you might be onto something. Well, his criminal record's pretty extensive. What? Assault and battery, disorderly conduct, what? drug charges. The, the, the father? He mm -hmm. found himself in prison. Last 10 years. <laughs> Rehabilitated man. <laughs> <laughs> by Lenny Arietta last week. Oh, well, it's funny how Padre Punchy failed to mention the restraining order. Please tell me now we have enough to bring this priest down. We have enough to bring him in. You ready to go to church? <sighs> bringing down a priest is the only reason I ever would. In. Bring him in. Yes, bring him in so we can bring him down. <laughs> hey, um, you go ahead. I'll 
I mean, you downstairs. Just think I got For a second, I thought she was about to be like, hey, you see that guy too, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you want to do dinner at my place? Get takeout? Yeah. Zane Charles? <laughs> Zane Charles. I was just going to say that. I want some Zane Charles. Yeah, okay. Sounds, sounds good. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Zane Charles. The Zane gifts child you'll ever give. <laughs> I hate myself. Don't worry, I already got a new partner. I convinced the higher ups to give me my first choice. Oh you. my god. So, oh my god. to make his life god. torture. Seriously, Dan, you gotta try this. Yeah, Dan's gonna be fucked. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm firing down kill him next immediately. The minute you wanna come clean, you and I, we both go to jail. You really wanna throw away your marriage? Did the coach little tricks you go up from behind Did bars? Think this through, Dan. Yeah, it might be the TV. With you gone, I'm... who's gonna protect Chloe? I mean, is this guy talking to you? What do you want from me, Malcolm? Nothing much. You're gonna go into evidence and borrow something for me. I mean, he ain't wrong. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But it, it depends if he's gonna make him do more stupid shit. Yeah, he's got him like wrapped around his finger. Oh yeah. Is it just me or does Dan look like um, a model from like a Just for Men? Hair commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Rogate or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Your hair. When I was here earlier, Father Frank told me I should be faithful to my husband. Well, I don't know why you're listening to that fool. I mean, let's be honest. If you wanted to be faithful, then you wouldn't be fantasizing about your limo driver now, would you? Right? You're right. No, 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 don't feel bad. You have those desires for a reason. You should act on them. Put it that way. Lucifer, what do you think you're doing? Uh. A few penance, ten Bloody Marys, and a good shag. <laughs> Bloody Marys. <laughs> Man, pick something better to drink. I don't want to drink tomato soup. Uh, so good. I you hate, don't like Bloody Marys? I fucking hate no. I will have I've, both of your guys'. I have tried <laughs> ever so many times Mary. in different yeah. states. Grumpy. Are you an angel? Forgotten about our deal, Malcolm? Forgotten. Because I, I brought you back from the dead too? for a single purpose. Yeah, about that. I've been meaning to ask. Why me? Uh, Why you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I... Uh, must be something special for you to go to all that trouble. Huh? Come on, don't flatter yourself. You're simply in a unique position to do what I need done. Because I'm a cop. Yeah, and because I know you'll do anything no to avoid going back to hell. Patience is not one of my virtues. Ooh. Damn, I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that they were all getting together. Okay. God damn. Father, I'm going to need you to come into the station for a statement. Damn. Well, maybe the Padre has a twin brother who also takes confession. That way he could still be guilty. Lucifer, seriously, you need to No, 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 he's going to get shot. He's going to get shot. Damn, good call. Other cameras. You will be relieved to know that no one was injured. Oh, thank God. Please, Dan. You care to tell us what that was about? The voice modulator from Arietta's office. We should have gone to the police with this. I assumed it was Arietta, and I'm not afraid of him. But if it's the spider. Spider. The spider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Capital T. Father, you were today's target. We need to worry about your safety first. Do you have a place to stay? We can offer police protection. I'm fine right here. This is my sanctuary. Well, your sanctuary just got shot to high heaven, Padre. But if you're looking to lay low, I believe I know just the place. Is it his club? Mm -hmm. Please be his In club. In hell. Oh, yeah! I was gonna say, I was, I was like, like where'd he take him? At a, at a church like that. Car accident, 10 years ago. I was traveling with Connor and his family. Another car swerved into our lane, and uh, Connor lost both his parents that night. My daughter was with us, too. She didn't make it either. Damn. We might not always understand it, but God has a plan. Yes, I know. But why does everybody always think it's a good plan? Damn. <laughs> like, Damn. I'm, getting, I'm here getting chills that was and shit, but then Lucifer comes in with the fucking heart truth and shit. That was a good one. Just giving it to someone else. To Connor. It's Connor. Whoa! Dang. Oh, I, I thought he was supposed to street just like shoot at him. <laughs> what? 
got a 12 year old with firearm. So it was Connor. Well, why was the yeah, they're playing the guy who was the, 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 the spider. You know, I'm trying to draw some money on you at the same time. Makes you a target. Or because Connor's the spider. Traffic cam footage. Ah, uh, from the church shooting. So the boy the priest was trying to protect is the one who tried to kill him. What? what a twist. Man, that, that kid got a big drug ring like that? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. He shot up your church. He's most likely running a drug ring behind your back. And oh, yes, killed a man. I don't believe that. Look, what if it's true? Then he needs me even more. How can you still have faith in this boy? God has faith in him. In all of us. God has a plan for me. Oh, his plan for me was quite clear. How do you know it's finished? Wow. This is pretty good, man. There's some good yeah. writing in this one. Yeah. There. You got what you wanted from evidence. It's brown dye number 42. Just for men. Catalog 1998. <laughs> Not by a long shot. Partner. Like, does Dan not get it? That he's just, he's, a, he's yeah, in it now? He like, just no, speak up on it. Yeah. You don't want to do this. I know you, this isn't you. I'm sorry, I don't have a choice, okay? I have to do this. I get it. You don't think you can rely on anyone else to survive. The okay? spider? I'm here for you. I want to say it in Spanish need. for some I reason. I don't need I don't know you, what spider is in Spanish. okay? I don't need oh, anybody. Go right. ahead and shoot the altar boys. In the leg or something, obviously. Just do it, Connor. Pull the damn tree. What? Holy I Lord. thought that guy looked sus, dude. <laughs> I can't do it, Dorn. Sorry. I'm sorry too, kid. <gasps> I can't allow weakness. Pop, I'm just taking control. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hands up. Get down on the ground. No, 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 you idiots. <sighs> Damn, I, th I thought it was in the was it in the chest? Oh, dude. I thought it was no. At first, I didn't understand why God put you in my path. But then it hit me. Maybe he put me in yours. Oh, I need now. T came up on me a long time ago. You're wrong, Mr. Remember, your father has a, has a plan. My father? Yeah, you know, Frank. Oh, oh damn, dude. Oh, Doyle's about to fucking get hell's wrath. To pull the legs of the spider. No, the Pillsbury oh, Dinner Spider. Decker, Decker. Nice. Damn. Why did you do this? I don't know, man. Why? He's bringing too much heat. Why? Get him off. This work. Stop. Father Frank wouldn't want this. If she doesn't mention the fact that he held him up that much. <laughs> like, she's right. got to know there's a part right. devil in him after, like, pick something up yeah, that high, know. that heavy, and put him on the wall. Damn. I like Frank. I now believe, though, that the rest of the series is going to be us watching this series become, like, an angel to go back to heaven. Oh, mm. wow, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you cruel, manipulative bastard. Is this all part of your plan? Nobody can win, so what's the point? What's the bloody point? Oof. Yo, she busts out the energy. It's gonna be wild. <laughs> Bit late in the new case. <laughs> I'm not here for a case. I'm here for you. Oh. Really? Yeah. Thought you could use a friend. Yep. Oh, so he's a glutton? Jesus. Is that bro, what the hell, bro? He's all hell. He's like, he's gonna indulge and live his life like him. Man, he's yep. trying to eat before he goes back to hell. Do you want to go back? Because I can make that happen. Yeah. You're remembering it now, aren't you? I bet your 30 seconds in hell felt like yeah, 30 that's what they years. Say. Imagine what eternity would feel like. I'm sorry. Sorry. 
I wonder if they'll ever show it again. Not in the first season. We'll Gonna need a bigger budget for that, I think. <laughs> I'm ready now. So, tell me, who do you want me to kill? His name. It's Lucifer Martin. I didn't kill him. Well, because I think he's technically mortal, right? Technically. Alrighty, guys. What'd you guys think? I thought, okay, this episode was Flamio. If you guys know what <laughs> Flamio. It was great. I don't know how you guys felt about I love, it. I, love I liked it. his voice. <laughs> Whoever, I know that that dude had, has to have done like a ton of voice acting. For sure, dude. And he, pretty, he was a good actor. Yo, he was. And he, I'm pretty sure he's done voiceover on like a couple Roots albums. Because like I was listening to it, like not like like in the, uh, what do you call them? Like skits. Yeah, exactly. Skits, like... Uh, but he has like a very, very distinct voice. I want to look him up after this and yeah. see if he did. I was curious about that. No, I'm very yes. happy that Father Frank was introduced and he came to Lucifer in you know, hopes of him helping with Connor and everything. And I just found it interesting that saying, he said that like maybe God put me in your path or something. Because like, mm. how, like... There were some really good lines. He, he, he was a good balance for yeah. uh, Lucifer. I think yeah. it was a nice little tear jerk episode. Yeah, I, th I think yeah. he brought yeah. Lucifer yeah. down a little bit. Like, you know, make, like I think what, uh, what Spidey said... Um, Eventually, I think Lucifer is going to try to become like more of a heavenly angel to go back to heaven, and he's just going to break him down from the sinister, from from the sinister uh, left side to the right, you know, being uh, to the right to the good side. So I, I feel like that might be the play here, and I think that's why the father came into play to make him realize, you know, this is all part. This is this was all part of your father's plan, so it's part of your plan. Yeah, I also think Amanda is going to be running hell. Amanda, oh yeah, yeah. Amanda, no, Amanda, dude. I mean, like, we saw, like, the father, he had, like, assault and battery charges. He had, like, a past, like, party life, blah, blah, blah. I think that just, like, proves to Lucifer, like, hey, somebody was kind of like you, and he turned yeah. to the light, and so you can do it as well. That would be good writing, though, if they oscillate like that. Yeah. If, like, Lucifer turns good and his brother turns bad, mm -hmm. kind of in the process of, yeah, them getting entangled in the... In so the... you think about it, it's almost like he's, like, going through redeeming himself. Mm -hmm. For all of his past, you know, any kind of past things kind of thing by mm -hmm. either helping people become a better person or just like solving crime, basically like what he's doing. So I think we'll see. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go down like my notes because it's hard for me to like, you know, talk just about the father. Yeah, yeah, go for um, it. But what do you guys think about Dan? And I first wrote mustache dude because I forgot his name, but Malcolm. <laughs> Becoming partners now. Trash. Was he really? Yeah. So were, were they gonna shoot? Was it like they go back to the Palomino case? Was he gonna shoot Decker? Yeah, it seems like he was gonna shoot Decker, and then Dan shot him to stop that from happening. But I'm yeah. not sure if that's yeah. That's yeah. what it like, says. What they said in the first place was he already a, was he a real part of the crime? Like, well, it's weird because like I felt like in a previous episode he called him he called Dan out, and Dan like admitted that yeah I shot you. But now in this episode he was like playing dumb you know he yeah, was being naive yeah, yeah. like did i shoot you you know it's like so i don't know if that was ever really clear i was in the understanding that he did i but thought maybe he did. It's, yeah okay yeah. all right yeah um i would obviously shoot him to save decker kind of thing yeah. but immediately tell decker what happened like hey you were gonna get shot so this is what i did i panicked mm -hmm. so like stop because like the worst the more you hide in everything the worse it's gonna get now I think he's hiding so he doesn't incriminate himself because you, you were involved. If he was in the room, right. he was involved. I mean, he already yeah. stole evidence and it was yeah. a gun. Yeah. So that's How <laughs> easy is that to do? Well, for like, <laughs> probably pretty. Easy. In real just, life, just evidence. in real life, I think it's actually pretty difficult because I think it's like one of those like dead end jobs where it's like a li not not to say that the librarian evidence locker, but yeah, basically somebody who yeah. runs and catalogs that thing. That's that could be like their like OCD mm -hmm. haven. Yeah. So I actually think it's actually pretty difficult to do something like yeah. that unless yeah, you know, of course, you give somebody. Stuff. Money, like they don't have cameras in the evidence room. Uh, right, you think if anyone? You would think. You would think, yeah, right? Like, but also wasn't uh, yeah. the person the Dan took the uh, the gun now, so I guess they wouldn't question if it's Dan because like he's probably like the inspector, so he's probably just you know gathering evidence or whatnot. So I guess it wouldn't. Maybe I guess it depends on your rank. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I would still just like be like, hey, somebody got shot. It was an untraced gun. Don't we have one? Let's see if we do check the cameras <laughs> right yeah. yeah i don't know um what was i gonna say so i really did enjoy the confession part where the girl was like lusting over her limo driver and lucifer just told her to go for it <laughs> yeah that's mm -hmm. pretty good that's some advice i would give it, it reminded me of like a 30 rock uh skit where alec baldwin like 
for the very first time confesses to a priest, but the priest runs out because he like can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, life's yeah. worth of like stuff. Yeah, it, I thought something like that was gonna, but that was yeah, it was cheeky. It was cute. Uh, yeah, and I also enjoyed that uh, the priest. Yeah, his like reality check to Lucifer was that maybe the whole narrative isn't about you, dude. Yeah. You know. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. Well, yeah. Maybe this was my story, and you're just part of my story, kind of a thing. But well, I, when he was when he was dying, and he told him like. This is was uh, your father. This is from your father. Yeah, right? yeah, that's true. And, like talking to him, like yeah, that's fucked up. Told him you're the yeah. devil type shit, like yeah. And this was like you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The plot thickens. The the the. Uh, going back to the <laughs> confession, I wanted to say something like the one line that um that he said. What was in line, but he was telling the girl to go for a lust. He's like, you know, just go and go for a lust, and afterwards just come back and confess, and it's all forgiven. It's like, how don't you, how you usually do it? And that's one of the things I have with, like, problems I have with our religion. So it's like, where you could just go and do bad things and just pray, and it all goes away. It's just like how they do it here. It's like, yeah, go have a moment of weakness, and you pray, and then you'll be forgiven. What if you don't, what if you die before you can make it their prayer? Yeah, right? So, like, like, exactly. Uh, that's like... That's in, the in fear. In Catholicism, you're, then you go to hell. Yeah. That's, it's, it's pretty black or white in Catholicism. They, they tell you what you can and can't do, for sure. Like, in Islam religion, you can get, like, for sure. you, in Islam religion, you can be forgiven, like, if you pray and do good things and everything, but, like, you never know when you're going to die. You might not be forgiven. Exactly. That kind of thing. Like, what if your sin is, like, to that bad to that extent and everything? I've heard stories, like, in Islamic religion, like, where, like, a guy, you know, before he converted and everything, he was like on a murdering spree. Oh. But then he converted and like made faith with God and everything, and he ended up going to heaven. Because God told me murdering was wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, After it's, I did a lot of it. So right. you, you can't really say like you know what sins are gonna be forgiven or not when you're gonna die or what's gonna happen. It's, it's right. just so scary and up in the air. So you should always try to be doing good. Well, we, we I want to get like to your point. I want to know what hell is like in this universe. Mm-hmm. Because clearly, yeah. Um, I wonder if they're ever going to show it because because yeah. the the dude went there. Yeah, because so. uh, Captain Mustache has been to hell, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and apparently it was no no walk in the park yeah. from, from like, like thousand yard stare. Yeah, exactly. But so. that's like in any I don't know if it applies to your religions to, like in any other religion, but like in again Islamic religion, one second in hell feels like goddamn near like a million years. So mm-hmm. that was like a really cool reference right mm-hmm. here too. I, I like all the I never knew that I, I never knew different. like the the time lapse of how hell was like like you know how 30 seconds could be like 30 I mean, minutes or yeah, you're, I grew you're up there forever that. so like doesn't matter like, <laughs> yeah right <There's laughs> <There's something, laughs> and I'm curious what variation they use cuz um oh I can't remember the the story now but the original version of hell in like literature was just like this really cold like dark place like basically it was just like a super crypt oh, essentially wow. so I never knew that fire didn't come around until um yeah, no. fire was included, I think, in King James Bible or the you know the New Testament or mm-hmm. I can't remember. Maybe it's the Old Testament, but um, no, my yeah, hell yeah, version yeah. is yeah. all like you bugs, hell water, like spikes everywhere. You're just like miserable from eternity. Mm-hmm. But like, that if, sounds so scary. It right? is, but if you like when you die, like and you're supposed to go to heaven, your death feels like one second, and you're like you know you automatically go to heaven. The weight and like in the whatever zone doesn't happen. But if you're a bad person, you're going to go to hell. The wait feels like forever, and then you go to hell, and that's another fucking forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't tell us that. Like, it's not, you don't go to heaven or hell when you die. Yeah, that's later oh, really? on, you're just dead. And it's, oh. If you wake back up, because God chose you for the paradise land, and it's, it was like you just took a nap. Yeah, it's like you took oh, a nap, that's yeah. Dope. Yeah, we have no fear of heaven or hell. Like, <laughs> that's just awesome. like, yeah, you got to go. You're just going to be judged. Be cool. All right. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's it's, it's really cool dope. how like the, what they're putting in Lucifer can apply to like so many other things. It, I don't know, I like it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of Amadou bringing back Malcolm though? <laughs> from <laughs> that is Amadou. That's it. Yeah, I never yeah, Amadou yeah, yeah, from yeah. from hell. I mean from back from back to dead, and then from hell, I guess. Yeah, I was I was surprised that they had a deal. I thought he just brought him back up just to screw with Lucifer, like you know, as far as uh, uh to screw with Lucifer's relationship with uh. Um, what's her name? I always forget. Chloe, is it Chloe? Decker. Decker. Sorry, yeah. Chloe Decker. Chloe Decker. Yeah, yeah Decker. Um, it was like because I knew in that scene when he brought her back, like he saw Decker and Lucifer getting close, and I thought he was just trying to make that be a uh, make claws of rift, so then Lucifer goes back or whatever. I never knew it was a fact that he brought him back just to kill him. That was that was crazy. Yeah, and I feel like he could have made that deal with like any other cop or like thug or something. Like, why Malcolm? Because he's specifically in position to fuck with Chloe and Dan. Yeah. As well. But I'm wondering, like, 
when did he bring him back? Like, has this been in the process since the Tommy Hill case kind of deal? Because when yeah. he got shot. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, where, where was there like a pact? Did yeah, like, was this fourth off there for a while, kind of thing? It I don't know. Been... We saw him at the hospital, right? Like when he went under. Well, yeah. So he was he he, he flatlined, and then oh, God, how do we say the angel's the name? Okay, Amadou. Yeah. Can I just call him Amadou? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not okay. Amadou. Okay. Amadou. Amadou. Yeah. So Amadou leaves, and then we see him. You know, was revived, and so I, yeah. But to your point, like, was it orchestrated at the very beginning for him to die right. for him to bring him back or was it an impromptu decision of just I, I feel like it was hey I need impromptu. to fuck with you like oh, okay yeah. alright damn those 30 seconds dude mm-hmm. I wanna see it yeah I, I, there's a there's a screensaver thing online where it's just constantly zooming you can download it it used to, it used yeah. to be a thing do you know what I'm talking yeah. about and some of that imagery is just fucking <laughs> horrifying yeah. like yeah oh, no, so, so look it up just uh, it's just perpetual screen sa- art screensaver yeah, it just zooms it just zooms the whole time <laughs> it's, so it's, it's wild it'll mess with no, you no I'm good on that yeah um, <laughs> But yeah, no, this had like a lot of good things. I liked the piano collab. I liked how like the car accident, you know, Connor lost his parents and father lost don't his you daughter. Like that, you monster? I don't like but I like like he said that like God had a plan, like that their their past met again after like, the accident, you know what I mean? The uh, them playing the piano was some of the coolest shit. Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, for sure. The piano yeah. off was like I've never seen something like that before. That was shit. dope. They didn't oh. even have an audience. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he says like God didn't have faith in me. He's like maybe your plan's not over yet. Mm-hmm. Like it was yeah, a lot of good stuff. Yeah, that's true. Turning at the heart. Turning at the heart. Well, that's basically it. I believe that is all the things. So, if you want to guess the next one, YouTube, check it out on our Patreon. Otherwise, we will see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.